Hi, my beautiful witches, blessed be. This is Y Raven, and today is Magic Monday. Happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. I owe you a spell. Last Monday, I told you I was going to post this spell for you guys. Uh, for whatever reasons, I haven't been able to post this spell, uh, which actually got me a little bit reluctant to actually post it. Uh, I'm a person that likes to look at the things that are happening around me before I post any spells and I've been having a lot of issues in order to uh, post these spells to all of you guys. So um, here it goes. I don't know if I was supposed to post this for you guys or not but I am, as I promised, I'm going to post it. Again, I've been having a lot of problems in order to post this for you guys. So. Please be very moral when you are using these spells. This is a commanding spell. Commanding spells are looked upon as a very uh, unethical spells because we're going to be working with people's free will uh, and we are trying, we're going to be trying to control or manipulate other people's free will, okay? Uh, last week I posted for you guys and I shared with you guys uh, how to do your commanding oil. Okay, commanding oil has two ingredients. It has a licorice root, and it also have, if I'm not mistaken, some calamus. Uh, those are the two ingredients that I use for my commanding spell that I shared with you guys last week, and this is the uh, final results of it. I mix it with olive oil. You can mix it with uh, safflower oil, with jojoba oil, and some other basic oils. Um, neutral oils. I personally like to mix them with my extra virgin olive oil. For this spell, you're going to be needing two type of candles. When it comes to commanding spells, you are going to be represented with a three basic colors. Number one and the most important colors when it comes to commanding spells is purple. In my case I'm going to be using black but you can also use a black and you can also use red to represent the person that is commanding, the person that is the boss of the spell. For the person that you want to command you want to use a white candle all the time. Do not use two white candles you want to use one with colors for you if you can get a purple one better otherwise you can use a black one or a red one that is going to represent you okay the person that wants to command the person that you are commanding are going to be represented with the white candle okay commanding spells are based on three things and number one, the basic ingredients of your spell. You need to use the right ingredient for the spells because this spell, as it is, is a little bit hard to actually get them to work. Um, you also need to have your right intentions. Your command needs to be very strong. And number three, you need to use the right colors. Those are the three things that you must have and you must take into consideration before doing any kind of commanding spells, okay? Now, understand that we're going to be working with people's free will. Try to use this in a positive note. Try to use this to command like bullies, or pedophiles, rapists, or people that are doing bad or evil deeds towards humans and towards this universe that we live in, this beautiful planet that we live in. Um, Remember that everything that you put in will come back to you. So anything good and anything bad that you put out there is going to come right back at you. So the first thing that I'm going to show you are my two candles. You already know that I did my commanding oil last week. And now I'm going to show you my candle. I'm going to represent myself with a candle that has some gold glitter some purple glitter and some red glitter that in this case is looking very pink over here but believe me when I tell you it's very red. Um, this is a black candle. I relate to the color black. Okay so this is why I'm using a black candle uh, and this is going to represent me. The person that is commanding is already being addressed and is being designed with some uh, gold glitters, with some purple glitter and with some gl red glitter. I am going to dress this candle with my commanding oil that has calamus and licorice root. This is the only candle that is going to be having this oil. 
The next candle that you're going to have is a white candle. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use such small candles. You can use a pillar candle, you can use a longer candle, you can use a taper candle, you can use a longer candle. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using this. This is what I'm going to show you. This is the candle that is going to represent the person that I am commanding. This is the candle is going to represent the person that I want to control, that I want to dominate. This candle is going to be white. I already put some sigils in here that represents the person that I am commanding. You can put the name of the person that you want to command. You can put a sigil that represents the person that you're commanding. Or you can put any kind of symbolism that represents that person. A name and a last name is more than enough. Okay, you're also going to put a red cord nine times in this candle. I have a red, I have a black cord nine times or wrap around this candle, and uh, it is very important that you, you do this for this particular spell for this person. Again, this candle <coughs> is going to represent the person that you want to control, the person that you want to dominate, the person that you want to command. Okay, this is the white candle. Do not in any way, shape, or form ever use two white candles. You just want to use one white candle for the person that you want to dominate, control, and command. What are we going to do with these two candles? The first thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to put some oil in my hands. It's just a little drop. And I'm going to put it around my candle. The candle that represents me. I am commanding. I am the boss of the spell. So, this oil is going to go only into that candle. We're not going to put that in the white candle. We're only going to put it in the candle that is representing you. You are the boss of the spell. You are the commander of the spell. Okay. So this is the this is the candle that you want to dress on that oil. Okay. What is the second thing you're going to do? You're going to put this one candle higher than the white candle. Because this one is commanding this candle. So whenever you do that, this is exactly how you're going to put your two candles. This one higher than this one. And you're going to put this one looking at this one. Move a little bit. Move all the candles that I have in here. So and let me show you how am I going to do this. This is my black candle. my white candle is going to be down here. You see how that works? My black candle is over here with the black and purple and gold on it. And my white candle is right in here. The way this is going to work, you are going to light your purple candle. Black candle, your red candle, the candle that represents you and you're also going to light the white candle that represents the person that you are commanding this one is in the top this one is in the bottom now what is the most important thing that you have to share right now in this spell it's your intentions if your command now this is when you are going to actually see this person doing your bidding what you want you have to think about that. You have to transmit this to your candle. Your candle is going to transmit to this candle. This is the person that you are commanding. So you have to make sure that all your strength and your intentions and everything you want this person to do is transmitted in this one spell. What you're going to do, you're going to light this candle as long as this first thread either melts or is damaged by the burning of the candle. It could break, it could melt, or it could just fall down next to the following thread. Okay? Once that happens, you shut this off, you shut both candles off, 
and then you wait until your following day and you do it again and you're going to do this every single time for nine times until you get your candle completely consumed in which time you are going to get the remnants of your white candle and you are going to put it in a four cross road you understand what you're doing you're going to put it in the four cross road and there you go that's one of the spells that you can use in order to command and dominate another person take care of what you're doing Try to be moral. Remember that everything that you put out is going to come right back at you. Okay? This is a spell that is not very ethical. It's not, look, it's not looked upon as a good spell in any way, shape, or form. I am teaching you this because sometimes, just sometimes, we need to dominate other people for their own good. Okay? Sometimes we need to do good, and if that means to do not the right thing, it is what it is. We're witches. We do what is necessary. We don't necessarily do what is nice. Thank you for coming into my channel. Thank you for waiting for my videos every week. I am absolutely honored to have you in my channel. Stay tuned, witches. Go visit me in Witches Mayor and ask me all the questions that you need. I have encountered a lot of very repetitive questions in my videos. Sometimes people ask me what I've already answered in the video. So please, I am not your mother. I am not going to solve your life for you. So make sure you watch my videos. Do not ask me silly questions because I'm not even going to address them, okay? Use your mind. Use your intelligence. If you really live a magical life, there are certain questions that you shouldn't be answering. I mean, you shouldn't be asking. Um, it is awesome talking to you witches. This is a white raven over here. Go visit me in witches lair. I am always there. Stay wicked and embrace our differences. Everybody does things in a different way. There is not the right way. There is only your way. Listen to me witches. It is always awesome talking to you. Go visit me in witches lair. And uh, stay wicked, okay? See you next week.